everything. Praise for everything. Down by the river. Down by it's the second day of a series of intensive training for these guards trainees at Pulau Tekong. Part of their rite of passage before they earn their guards tab. Thank you, Kabir. Thank you, Kabir. As they queue in line to replenish their tummies and quench their thirst, another mission is at hand. They'll be tested on our, their session skills, their command, uh, how they should uh, behave in a more tactical environment. The soldiers hadn't slept for over 36 hours now, and fatigue is starting to set in. You just start on the pain and you walk fast so you can and to make matters worse, their mission keeps changing. The trainees are not told exactly what is going to happen during the week. And the training program that is being given to them is some sort of a decoy, so that they are always um, be on their toes. And when the things change, they are able to adjust, make the changes on their own, work as a team and move on and achieve the goals. But over the weeks, the soldiers, having learned to expect the unexpected, are adapting well to these erratic changes. At the tree area, so that you all when climb over and our reorg phase, when I need to get a seat, you must check the corner first. At least two people check the corner, then execute your turning around. They usually keep telling us one common phrase, uh, GCC never ends. So it has been drilled into us in such a way that it comes into our blood now. So they give us another mission, so they said, OK, uh, they only can give you so much. Uh, that's how we just keep on pushing and moving on. The next thing is after the front person move, what's the next Their next task is to take out an enemy position in a built-up area a few kilometres away in the dead of night. This time, the soldiers are determined to get it right the first time. Detailed plans are mapped out and strategies set. The soldiers emerged victorious from the firefight. Their strategy had worked well. This time round, there was a, a better sense of awareness. We knew what to do, so what we did was we simply adapted as the situation permitted. We did not know what to expect, but we knew the mistakes we made the last time and we worked on those to improve. We saw determination. You see fear, but you see courage as well, because even though you are afraid of what you might meet, what you might see, you still do it anyway, and that, I think, is true courage. We were told to quickly move to the heli pad area, where we were supposed to do a Kazavak. After walking for about six kilometers, these battle-weary soldiers just have one question on their mind. Is their mission finally over? We all were telling ourselves, nah, can't be. There's bound to be something there waiting for us. Then right at that point of time, uh, we saw the box. Hey, just open. Hey, come on. Open. Open. 
Surprise! Okay, what's going to happen now? But it's not Each the end. Your... <laughs> yeah. okay. Only one drink. This drink you can concept anytime you want. While walking. Too much. It's A free drink. A free drink is a free drink. It helps. Every little bit helps. You will learn to appreciate that after you've been through that much in GCC. And the drink comes with a bonus, an assurance that the training has come to an end. I would say that a lot of us are still wondering, is this all? Or, but we are pretty sure there's some more to come. Just that we just want to just remain calm and wait for the next thing to happen. I don't think so. It's over. Unless it's stated so. Uh, Casualty back on stretcher. Move out. The two minutes starts now! I see, I see, I see. Let's go. The game plan changes. Hey, lift up! Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, get down. You can drink right now. Oh, very, very poor. Hey, my God, my God! Hey, hey. What we did today was translating of casualties again. Then we had one stretcher, then we had a casualty, so we have to move point to point. Okay, let's go, let's go, continue. Time uh, was given to us also, so we have to try to meet the timing. If there's, if you never meet the timing, then the situation will be even worse, uh, like maybe more casualties, or the distance we have to cover is further. I don't stop, but can we do it? You are so tired. All that matters is getting your friends back to the effect point. You don't really care about the time or the distance, you just walk. You can see that uh, the soldiers, they have developed this uh, sense of tenacity, all right? They are not willing to say, I give up. So they, are not, uh, they are willing to go all out for their friends to uh, achieve the mission. So actually, we see that the mental resilience uh, has also improved by a lot. It's pretty tough. Never knew that I was, I'm able to push so much. Especially yesterday, the night, no rest, lack of sleep. You can see most of us really want to sleep. But they never, never quit and never say die. A guardsman won't, won't uh, leave a guardsman behind. So that's, that's what uh, keep me pushing. Currently, how am I feeling? is totally shocked. It's worse than yesterday's. Yesterday, I think we have cleared more than, like, don't know how many tens of clicks already. Plus, we have walked non-stop. Up! Up! Come, fight, fight! I just decided to put in every single bit of energy and effort to make sure I uh, I don't bring down my syndicate because in, in the GCC, it's not just about you. It's about you and your syndicate. So, yeah, I just try to make sure we all fight together, persevere together. Deprived of sleep for over 48 hours now, this 15-minute ferry ride back to the mainland is a respite from the extremely tiring tasks. It's a much-needed recharge for something bigger.